Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Erica. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming new moon in Sagittarius energy. I apologize. I have been kind of quiet over here on this channel. I have posted some of the astrology type videos over on my other channel, but I um, have been working on a lot of different projects and um, just have been having to prioritize. And anyway, I am excited to look into the energies of the upcoming new moon in Sagittarius happening on December 12th, the 12th, 12th portal at 6.32 or 6.34 p.m. Eastern time. So as you know, with new moons, the energies build leading up to the new moon and then for the next couple of weeks. Um, so even if you're watching this at another time or if the title has resonated for you, then um, likely there is a message here for you. So... Um, we're going to look, sorry, I was just getting my, uh, recording, my, my backup recording started. You never know with technology because we do have Mercury going retrograde the day after on December 13th. So we're already in the shadow period of that. Um, and so obviously that will be impacting the energies around this new moon, but we're going to take a look at the themes around this new moon as well as what came, what we're releasing, what we're initiating. And there will be an extended where I actually take you through a new moon ritual process where I channel um, guidance for, you know, how to maximize the energies of this new moon that you can then use as a template to do your own for yourself personal. So that's in the extended. So let's get started. I hope you're all doing well during the crazy world we are living in right now. Um, I'm really happy that Neptune has stationed direct finally because I think people are getting a lot more clarity and a lot more, um, a lot more, uh, I guess, yeah, a lot more truth and a lot more clarity. Um, Neptune retrograde was a doozy this time given everything else going on in the world for sure. That happened at the beginning of December. So hopefully you've been feeling the shift there. But let's take a look at the energies of this new moon in Sagittarius. Wow, okay. Well, we're, get, we're getting two cards. It says, fill up your well and the great gathering. Retreat, rest, refuel. As well as it's all coming together, intuitive hits and soul tribe. So this is very consistent with the energies that have been coming through in my readings is we are being... Um, called to make sure that we are sort of taking a pause, taking a break. We are regaining some balance. And even though, um, even though Sagittarius is a very expansive energy, I feel as though there's a very inward, um, focus around this time in general. And we are being asked to go within, uh, to make sure that we're getting enough rest. Um, so that we can be clear and strong. And what also is coming in with this is the great gathering, which is trust your intuitive hits right now. You are attracting your soul tribe. And in the stillness, you connect to the truth. You know, part of the, the confusion and the chaos in the external environment is causing a lot of people to sometimes get swept up in it. So be sure around this new moon to take some time to rest, to go inward, um, and, and look at it as this is time for me to rejuvenate. I keep getting a vision in my recent readings around, you know, the warrior that's about to go into a big battle, um, or to go into the next phase of his mission. And he can't go from one directly to the other. He's got to take some a, a rest in between before he starts something new. What else do we have as a theme coming up around this new moon in Sag? Partnership. Yeah, this is also very consistent with what's been going on. Teamwork will get you better results. Find trustworthy people to partner with. 
build up a talented support team. So what we have here is many people are resting right before coming into um, sacred partnerships, uh, sacred partnerships in uh, mission work, in career, in friendship, in romance. So it's almost like rest up because something new is about to begin here. And I also forgot to mention, I don't know if I've invited you guys on this channel, but I have been hosting a live three-part activation series for 10, 10, 11, 11, and 12, 12. It's a three-part global event where um, we, it's called Anchoring Sacred Union. There's a link for more information, but this is where we are bringing forth the template, uh, preparing the earth grid for the template of sacred unions not because of what they're going to do for the sacred partners. It's what the purpose of sacred union is. Um, strong, talented partnerships of soul, family, soul, tribe coming together in how it's going to ascend the planet, period. So if you're interested in checking it out, there's a link down below. You can still register. You get access to the replays. And for those of you that are already part of it, I will be extending how long the replays will be available. I was going to only make them available through the middle of uh, December. But um, you can participate live um, and also have all the replays available. There is a link down below to get more information. Happens to be on the new moon in Sagittarius as well. So a good day to be anchoring some intentions with the collective. And what we have is emerging into grace. I open my soul to grace. So again, this is a card that only comes out when it's a reminder for us to, you know, see how she's resting here too. She's taking a break. She's resting. For many people, there have been a lot of um, partnerships dissolving um, and, and breaking apart even from soul tribe or not soul, not breaking apart from soul tribe, but breaking apart from existing friendships, relationships, acquaintances, work situations, communities that just don't serve us anymore. And it's a very, very lonely time. Um, but we are needing to connect, connect very clearly to the need for rest, grace, and pre in preparation for um, attracting the partner that you're going to do the next big thing with in your life, whatever that is for you. For many people, it is around love because that's a theme coming up in the collective, but it doesn't have to be about that. Partnerships are partnerships. This can even be a partnership with yourself. So let's add to this. So what, um, what are we releasing? What are we letting go? Um, with this prior to this new moon and we have the wheel of fortune yeah destiny things are changing the king of cups wow yeah see i'm talking about we're talking about love and emotions here and the six of pentacles this is the rebalancing so what we're letting go of is situations where things are not balanced where things are not reciprocated where you're putting effort into something and you're not getting enough in return in terms of satisfaction, fulfillment, happiness. Um, if it's about a relationship, it's where you're putting more in than the other person. Like one's just a taker, a taker, a taker. And it's just not fulfilling any longer, right? You know, true sacred relationships or partnerships and mission, there's a give and a take. Each person brings their gifts and and helps the other person emerge into a better version of themselves, you know? And that is by holding up a mirror sometimes and being like, yeah, you're not being your best self right now. <laughs> you're better than this. And, and a lot of the illusion that people are breaking out of in the world is in things that are not true, not real, not authentic and so what we're releasing here is potentially some emotions that have been hidden we could suddenly decide you know what it's time to go do something that i love it's time to follow my heart it's time for me to put the effort into something to see if it can pay off 
something new, something different, something that may be destined. You know, the wheel of good fortune is here. You know, many people are changing career paths or leaving behind things they thought they were going to be in forever because they started them. It doesn't mean you have to go the rest of your life. There are cycles with this wheel of fortune coming in. So what are we initiating around this new moon in Sagittarius? What is being initiated? The king of wands, seeing a lot of masculine energy going, yeah, I know what I'm about, what I want. I'm going to go after it. Judgment. I'm not going to live my life the way I've been living it. I've been evaluating enough. I've been going inward and figuring out what I want. And I'm ready for a second lease on life. I'm ready for a second chance. I'm ready to do things differently. And what we're initiating here is intensity. Action. Communication. Travel. I feel like this, for many people, you're going to get a burst of energy around this new moon in Sag, around this time frame, where you're going to suddenly get spurred into action. Um, not necessarily impulsively, because that's more of the page and the knight of wands energy. But someone who knows when to strike when the iron's hot, when it's the right time. Right? What does it look is when preparation meets opportunity. That's what we're getting. A stroke of good luck. Sagittarius is expansive. It's social. It's fun. It's adventurous. Some of you might all of a sudden be like, I want to go travel to a whole new country I've never been to before. <laughs> or I'm ready to go out and do something. I'm not going to continue to live my life as a hermit. I'm not going to continue to live my life in sadness. You know, many people are good on their own. If they've done a lot of their healing work, they're good on their own. They're, they're fine, but they want more. They want more zest in their life. And this is a really powerful new moon to set some intentions around, you know, how, like it, it's judgment day. What do I want to do? Am I going to put the action behind it? Am I going to put the words and the action behind what the divine is showing me. Do I have opportunity for a redemption here? You know, a second chance at life, a second lease of life. For some of you, it's like maybe if you've lost a partner and you were like, you know what? I'm never going to date again. I'm fine. I'm happy. I just don't want that anymore in your life. This could be the full moon, uh, the new moon where you're like, you know what? I want to do life with somebody. I want to have some fun. I want to share adventures. I want to have... Um, I want to create memories. Teamwork will get you better results. You know, we can be fine on our own, but we will thrive in partnership because of the synergistic balancing effect that happens. Each person gives 100%. It's not 50-50. Each person gives 100%, and then it's exponentially more. What could be challenging for us around this new moon? Well, that just jumped out. What is this? Oh, the Three of Swords. Yeah, disappointment, breakups, sadness. Three of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Again, breakups. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, right? Existing commitments. You know, maybe you felt a sense of loyalty and a sense of responsibility for something, but it's like, at what point are you sacrificing yourself? We have the King of Cups, the King of Wands here. And the difficulty is the king of pentacles, which can sometimes be, again, um, committed partnership. The masculine essence of, of spiritual partnership or of a partnership, commitment of some kind. And the nine of wands, wow. This is about not giving up, but this guy is continuing to put up a scarecrow even though the crows are there and they're not going away. The scarecrow's not working. So to me, this is an energy where what may be difficult around this, this new moon and Sag energy is, you know what? You, maybe you haven't wanted to give up on something. Maybe you've continued to try. 
Uh, maybe you've continued to stay in a partnership out of your wounding because it's codependent and it feels comfortable, but it's not expansive for you. This guy is trying his darnest to keep the crows away, but the crows are coming anyway, meaning it's a futile effort. And so again, this is where you have to use your own discernment, but this is what's coming through. What might be hard about this is like, you know what? It's done. It's finally done. Being drawn to the fact that there's the crows flying here and he's trying really hard to, to scare the crows away. And the crows are coming because something is impending ending, right? And here are the, here's owls and a bluebird on these swords. There's wisdom here. There's guidance here. I'm getting a strong ancestral energy as well. Where maybe you, you know, you don't want to give up because of what other people are going to think or what your elders would think or what, you know, your culture says. You do not divorce. You stay in an unhappy marriage because you've made the commitment. Whatever this is for you, this is what's coming through in the energy. So for those of you not going to the extended... I'm going to leave you with a guidance message here. But in the extended, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through a powerful new moon ritual that you can do on every new moon. And I'm going to channel messages for this particular new moon on, on what's happening. And you can use this as a model for your own. I will be doing it through um, the lens of the collective masculine and feminine energies because that is where, again, it's kind of like, a two four right you get two aspects of yourself getting addressed in this new moon extended so if you're interested the link is down below but let's get the guidance for this new moon and Sag what is the best guidance for the new moon and Sag wow oh <laughs> wow 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 you can't make this up Where have you kept yourself uncomfortable, but you're outgrown your safety and comfort zone? You can't make this stuff up. Where have you not taken action? Where are you not receiving? Where are you not giving? Where is there no balance? It's interesting. This is the yin card, but it looks very... Feminine, receptive. And it's like where many of the many of you have been keeping yourself small and not giving gifting the world with your gifts, with your mission, with your purpose. But do you see how this giraffe is here? Neck crooked because he's trying to stay in this little hut that's too small for him he doesn't he's way taller than this and there's a little baby giraffe who's outside and I will tell you for some of you and you know my heart goes out to you many people stay in relationships because of children and I totally understand the challenge that that poses but you see this like little guys like let's go out and play I don't want to stay in this house you're not even comfortable come on out let's go do something Let's go do something, you know, more. You're keeping yourself in hermit mode. You know, for many of you, this is where if you've been dealing with the breakup, again, my heart goes out to you and I send you so much love. Yet it's like the world and the universe is calling you and your soul is calling you to experience more. It's coming together. There is the great gathering of your soul tribe. There are other people out there that resonate with you that you will feel a sense of home with. So my beautiful friends, I hope that this was helpful. I really hope some of you will decide to check out and join us for the live activation happening on the new moon um, on Tuesday. But again, even if you miss the live event, the replays are available and it's a series you've got to do in order. You know, no matter when you watch them, just do them in order because they're major activations and they need, you know, they need to be done in order. Um, 
And in the quantum field, even if you weren't there present at the time, you are present at the time. Because the universe knows who's going to be called to the event. And even if you weren't there during the live recording of it, your energy imprint was there because in the future, aka now, you are participating and therefore the quantum field, it's as though you were there live. So with that, my beautiful friends, um, I'll see some of you in the extended and I send you so much love. Bye.